Hello, and welcome to Day 3 of The Sims 3 Volition Hunger Games Season 9. So, right now, everybody is actually doing fantastic. Even Jasmine's doing fantastic. Even though she's in the yellow over here, everyone's in the green. Like, they're great. Except for poor Ed. He is starving and is going to die in 19 hours unless he gets food. And he's sweating profusely because he's been outside, like, all day long. He has a great tan. But he needs to get inside now or else he's going to spontaneously combust fairly soon because it's 100 degrees outside. Um, currently, Eric Montano is dead, though he could maybe come back. So Jasmine still has a faint hope, as long as Eric is alive, that she could have her baby. Will Jasmine ever get her baby? I don't know. Um, Jordan this season has been turning into a werewolf and turning back into a human all on his own, which is unexpected. Um... And he's fiendishly delighted right now. And he doesn't know what just happened because he just turned back into a human. Um, so we're going to just press go and see how this goes. I do have a competition planned for today. But I'm kind of curious first to see if Ed will survive. Um, Ed is not doing anything. He wants to go complain about sleep deprivation to Jasmine. Jasmine is inside at least. So that's good for him. Um, let's see. Zelly is sleeping. I think that's Sally, yes. Um, so far we have also had Tom Strait and me, my sim. We all are dead. Um, Ed is, is good he's in here. He's Now he's just getting warm. He's no longer sweating profusely. So that's good that Ed is in here. Um, Erica is coming to scare Ed because Erica is mean and that is what she does to people. Um, she's just mean to them. She's feeling lucky today. This is a lucky day for her. Today is Ed's competition, actually. I did competition themed around people. Nick wants everyone out. Nick wants everybody out now so he can go to the bathroom and the Sochi toilet, guys. Leave Erica, leave Ed. Ed. Ed wants to eat a magic jelly bean, but he can't because that's in a room where he can't get to. So sorry, Ed. Oh my gosh, Ed. Leave poor Nick. Leave poor Nick. Oh, no, no. Today isn't Ed's competition. Today is Nick's competition. Yeah. Today is Nick's competition. Ed is just not leaving, and Ed and Nick really wants him out. Ed just wants to eat a jelly bean. That's all he wants, and Nick is crying. And Nick just wants to go to the bathroom, Ed. He just wants to go to the bathroom, Ed. Ed, what are you doing? You're being a creeper. I'm just gonna listen to Jasmine. Poor Nick. Okay. Um, okay, we will start this competition then. We're actually, for the first time, I'm going to use an object that is somebody's wish item for a competition. So, Nick Sad wants this amazing cat. Um, that is his next item. He actually, if he wins, he's going to get this cat. Anyways, this cat's name is Gorker. It's Gorker Cat. And Gorker is moving into our house. Gorker, I made Gorker. And Gorker actually looks kind of like a French bulldog. I just, I feel like a cat named Gorker would hack all over the place, and so I decided that Gorker was going to be kind of an ugly cat. This is Gorker cat. It's kind of ugly. I made this up. I just feel like Gorker would be an ugly cat. Anyways, if Nick Sands wins, Gorker and him will become friends. Um, but if he doesn't win, then Gorker's just going to leave, and Gorker can come back another day if Nick Sands ever wins. Anyways, so this is Gorker. The cat. He looks kind of like a French bulldog, I think. Um, the, the competition is only that. At the end of the day, we're going to see who's best friends with Gorker. Whoever Gorker likes the best. Um, Nick Sands actually has a really nice boost during this because Nick Sands is a cat person. But I just, if he never wins or if he dies, we'd be sad if we never got the chance to see and meet Gorker the cat, you know? Gorker is a female cat. I didn't know that. Uh, Gorker wants to beg Erica for something. How is Erica going to respond to being begged by a cat? She's mean to people. Will she be nice to the cat? 
want some food, Erica. Gorker the cat wants some food. Gorker? Oh, they're, they, she likes it? He wants to beg her for some food. So Gorker is friendly. He increases relationships with Sims faster. He, um, he also likes to hang out with Sims. Jasmine's going to give him a treat. He's also noisy, so he's very vocal day and night. Um, and he's a piggy, so he will noisily eat. And he rarely cleans himself, and he wants to do dirty things that are going to make him dirty. Now he's going to go beg Air Jordan for some food. Jordan's waiting for the cat to get here. So far, Gorker likes Jasmine the best. I feel like J Jasmine's been outside a lot today. She's going to go jump on the trampoline. This is Jasmine jumping on the trampoline. <laughs> okay, so Nick Sands is going to come complain to her. Jordan Lynn is still going to feed a treat to Gorker. Nick Sands, you need to go hang out with Gorker, your cat. Where's Mommy Kenny? He's swimming. Yeah. Mommy Kenny has lots of friends. Um, Jasmine and Nick Sands do not like each other. They're just mean to each other. She's accusing him of being a diva. Oh, maybe he accused her, but she liked it? I don't know. Now he's going to listen. They're just, they don't get along very well. Oh, she's trying to cheer you up, Nick, and you're going to be mean to her? She was trying to cheer you up, man. Okay. Erica. I don't even know what Erica's doing. And Ed, you have 15 hours to live. Mm. I don't know. Erica. Erica, because I say so, I just, I don't feel like, I don't know. Who should I? Who is the f who does the cat not near? Who is the farthest from Gorker at this moment? Ed? Ed, you are the farthest from Gorker? You're also doing the poorest. Okay, Mommy Kenny. You can just stop swimming. We're going to have you make us some food again, Mommy Kenny. We're going to have you make a pumpkin pie. Because that pumpkin pie you made was fantastic earlier, Mommy Kenny. Now Nick's jumping on the trampoline. Everybody's outside. Is anybody heating up? Mommy Kenny? He's not... Nobody's really hot. They're all doing good outside. Erica's starting to get warm. She's also feeding a treat to Gorker. Who knew Erica would get along with this cat? I did not think she would be nice to the cat. I mean, there aren't really a lot of mean interactions with it. So maybe she's just not going to be mean to it. Zelly's going to the bathroom. Gorker is going to go sleep somewhere. We don't want him to go to sleep. We want him to interact with people. So we'll just fill this all up and tell it not to go to sleep. Mommy Kenny. Mommy Kenny. Go make some food. You serve dessert? Pumpkin pie. Jordan wants to complain about his werewolf curse to Jasmine. Nick Sands? I don't know what Nick's doing. He wants to creepily watch Jordan in the pool, I think. And throw an elixir at Erica Montano. Mommy Kenny's in here making a pie. A pumpkin pie. Um, I don't know much else, really. Let's see. Who does Gorker like the best? Jasmine Mankiss is at the top of Gorker's current... Oh my gosh, what was that bug? That was creepy. That was creepy. Okay. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Because Jasmine's irresistible, even animals want to be around Jasmine. Nick, talk to your cat. 
If the cat actually joins this household ever, it'll be instant best friend status with Nick. But for this competition, he actually has, he's gonna, he's a cat person. So he builds relationships with cats more quickly. And he prefers to socialize with cats over Sims. So I'm so shocked he is not talking to this cat. He has a huge boost. But so far, Jasmine being irresistible. Oh, Nick, don't sleep outside. That's a terrible idea. You're going to spontaneously combust, Nick. Don't do it. Don't do it, Nick. Okay, well, we're going to go until all of Mummy Kenny's, Mummy Kenny's food is gone. We will put out three plates. People getting hungry? People are starting to get hungry. Look how pretty again. He makes another pretty pie. It's a very nice quality pumpkin pie. Mommy Kenny the chef. What's his cooking at? He has a five. That's I mean that's not fantastic, but that's not bad. Mommy Kenny. We'll give you a shot at this. We will help you out, guy. Okay, so we're gonna put you down like like in this room. Oh, Ed is sleeping in the bed. That's smart of Ed. Um this dirty plate will just stick right there because we're, we're not going to throw it out because technically Jordan Werewolf could still eat that. Jordan Werewolf could still eat that. And then, oh no, we don't have enough places. Well, I guess it's just four then. Just four. So, I mean, okay, so Nick Sands is sleeping in a sleeping bag outside. He's getting warm. This is not good. We'll go ahead and replace this phone for him though. More repairs fund for $150. Um, Jordan Lynn is going to go play Tic Tac Hoof. Will he win or will he lose to the cow? If he wins, he gets a milk. But last time the cow beat him. Oh, look at this. Okay, the cow has stopped you, Jordan. Okay. Cow, your move. Oh my gosh, Jordan can win this. Jordan won to the cow. Jordan gets the smarter than your average cow. Jordan is my name, Tic Tac Hoof is my game. Okay, you get to milk the cow, Jordan. You may milk the cow. We're going to watch this because this is always funny. Watching someone milk a cow. Okay, Jordan. Here's Jordan Lynn. Milking the cow. Now he has some milk in his inventory and he can drink it whenever he wants. If he gets two milk, we'll turn it into a cheese for him. Oh, Nick Sands is eating a piece of pie. Oh, Jasmine. Okay, so Nick Sands ate a piece of pie. Ed ate a piece of pie. He ate the outside piece of pie. She loves the great outdoors, so he's happy to eat it. See, Jordan did not, but he got a milk, so that's good. He's getting his own food. Zelly is you in this dirty bathroom by herself. Mummy Kenny got a plate. Mummy Kenny's doing great. That's fantastic. Go, Mummy Kenny. Jasmine got a plate and she's not going to go to bed and Erica did not get a plate but she's she's on her way to bed hurry Jasmine if you want to beat Erica Nick Sands wants to clean up all of the dirty plates oh Jasmine beat her let's see who's Jasmine in relationship with oh yeah Eric but he's dead so really nobody can share a bed with Jasmine let's see like 7 a.m. Here's Mommy Kenny jumping on the trampoline. He's like, I got my food. I'm going to go jump on the trampoline. Because I don't have to go to the bathroom or sleep. Um, let's see, Jordan Werewolf is going to sit down to drink his milk. He's a human right now. So he wouldn't, he wouldn't drink it ravenously anyways. Since the training day video, we have not seen Jordan flirting with Erica, or flirting with Jasmine, so that's good. Um, though he and Erica still don't like each other very much. Mm, 
of people are going to the bathroom here. How? Who was it? Was it Nick Sands that was sleeping outside? Hey, he's still alive! I thought Nick was dead meat because he was sleeping outside. He must have gotten up to go eat the food and that saved him then. Because he was hungry. Good for him. Who actually has all this stuff? I forgot. Oh yeah, Mummy Kenny got all this stuff. Mummy Kenny has all kinds of things. Who does the cat like the best? Oh, we need to raise all this stuff up. The cat currently likes Jasmine. It doesn't have an opinion of Mummy Kenny. Nick Sands still hasn't talked to his cat. He should. Oh no, Nick. Nick's sleeping outside again. It's still 100 degrees. The cat and Mummy Kenny. Who's the cat like the best? Still Jasmine. Because she's irresistible. I don't know. Six o'clock comes. That's who we're when we're gonna do this. We're at six o'clock. I mean, someone could come in and just sweep in and like swipe the cat off its feet. I don't know. Um, but maybe not. Oh man, Jordan Lynn, what's happening to you, Jordan? Jordan Lynn's senses are running wild. He can see more clearly, catch new scents on the wind, and hear slightest of sounds. With time and practice, Jordan may be able to improve on his newfound werewolf abilities. Jordan is a werewolf. Werewolf, werewolf. Jordan has unleashed the beast within. Also, feral change. Rawr! Sometimes it just can't be helped. The wolf has to come out. He's being a werewolf. Werewolf, Jordan. Jasmine's just sleeping in bed all to herself. Um, let's see. It's almost six. Let's just fast forward till six. I don't really know that anyone's like... So, so it's like a hundred degrees out. It should be like destroying people. But people don't care that it's a hundred degrees out. And it's really not hurting them. Zelly loves to swim, so she's having a great time swimming. Um, and holding breath contest with Ed. Ed has improved his athletic skill to five. Mummy Kenny is going to sit on this bench. Um, he's having fun with the cat, though. So, I mean, maybe this will help him at 6 o'clock. Jasmine is sleeping. Erica? She's not getting hot. Ed? He's getting warm. Ed is getting warm. How is Nick Sands doing again? Is Ed Nick is getting warm. Okay, it's six o'clock now. Oh, we'll let it finish this interaction with Kenny. But I don't think it's gonna... Jordan is really close, but it likes Jasmine more. Nope, still likes Jasmine more. Okay, Jasmine. Here's the deal now. Here's the deal, okay? Jasmine gets to unlock her first... Um, item on her list which is try for baby with Eric but she doesn't get to do this unless Eric is alive now if Eric comes back we will allow her to do it but if Eric does not come back to life she doesn't get anything for winning so that really stinks for her um, and it looks like I have written down that you don't get to go stay in the winner's room for this competition so she doesn't get anything from it um, the loser, the person the cat dislikes the most, so pretty much Ed, Nick Sands, and Zelly have to go play roulette. So we had girl Xavian Porter come in, Zavina, to remove the cat, and Mummy Kenny is attracted to her, um, Ed is attracted to her, and Nick is attracted to her, and so is Jordan, so just so you guys know. And the cat has been removed. Um, Zelly, have I, did I teleport? Yes, you guys, I all teleported into here. And, um, Ed, Nick, Sands, and Zelly are on their way. They can all choose a room. Oh, Ed, you didn't want to choose that room. That room is like a room that has actually killed people. That is not a good room to choose. Okay, you have to light the fires. And then you have to read something. Oh, who's that? 
Nick Sands and Zelly. Nick Sands is choosing to eat the cake. No, Nick, don't do it. I don't know that he has anything that's going to save him. I don't think he has anything to save him. Zelly's checking out the door. Oh my gosh, this this could easily kill both of these guys. These are like, Nick, Nick, you're dead. I think Nick is dead. I think Nick's dead. Zelly needs to choose something. She wants to wash the dishes. Well, I guess going into this room, we're going to have her. You can't wash the dishes. You have to slam the machine, so. Oh my gosh, it spit up Nick Sands? It's because he's dirty? <gasps> Nick, the fact that your hygiene was low saved you. You should have been dead. Okay, Nick. Here you go. You're free. I cannot believe... I thought he was dead. I forgot completely about the dirty thing. Okay, so Zelly got one vending machine item. She got a Ballard's Blueberry Bites. Oh, man. She got nothing. And... We'll put the dirty food in her inventory, too, and let her clean it up. Oh my gosh! Okay. She got... Did she get something? She got... Rolly Loli Snack Cakes. So, I mean, Zelly got some food. That's, like, pretty awesome, really. Okay. So, Zelly got some food. Nick survived somehow. And Ed. Ed is currently reading a book. He is reading Him a Festive Stone. This didn't turn out well for Tom Strait. Will Ed, Ed survive? I don't know. I don't know if he will. Spent a lot of time in the danger place. Oh my gosh. It's on fire. Will Ed survive? Can Ed survive what Tom Strait failed to survive? Tom's fire just got way out of hand. And that is what killed Tom. Tom was avoiding it super well. And it just got way out of hand. I mean, if this fire just goes the other way or doesn't get out of hand, Ed can survive, you know? Or if he doesn't stand right next to it. Oh my gosh, Ed. Bad spot. Bad spot. Okay. It's kind of just getting out of hand. It's kind of getting out of hand now. I don't even have any items. He has a book. This book doesn't belong to him anymore. He's kind of standing. In. There's like a lot of other better spots to stand in. Ed. <gasps> Starting right underneath of him. If this thing shoots up, he's on fire. Ed's on fire. <gasps> Ed is going to die. Okay. Well, Ed did not survive this competition. Not being friends with the cat has killed Ed. It wasn't so much that he wasn't good at survival as it was. He wasn't good at avoiding the fire. And he chose the wrong room. So far, the room you do not want to choose is the fire room. Um, though the cow plant room is also bad. I really felt like one of those vending machines almost fell on Sally. This is the death of Ed Wallenweider again. The first time he died in fire because he failed to cook things well. This time he fails because... Well, really, look at this. This whole room is covered in fire. He didn't stand a chance. Like, I don't remember fires getting this out of control. I remember people surviving in, like, little tiny squares. Like, these fireplaces are just, like, they erupt into flames horribly. So, I mean... I don't know how he could have survived that, really, to be honest. That was just kind of ridiculous. Um, yeah. Ed has no alliance. Um, and so we shall give his tomb to Mummy Kenny, because Mummy Kenny has so many things already. And I don't know who really liked Ed, really. Um, oh, let's see. Let's see who... Who liked Ed the best of everyone? 
Ed, nope, it was not Nick Sands. It might have been Jordan. It might have been Zelly. It's just a gravestone, so let's just give it to Kenny, because it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And it looks like Zelly, Jordan, and uh, Mummy Kenny are all on par. I don't think anybody liked Ed, because Ed was enemies with everyone! Ed, I'm sorry, because you amused me. And I was super excited about the third thing. He asked for something deadly gift-wrapped. It was going to be amazing. Whatever was deadly gift-wrapped was going to be amazing. Okay, so actually, Zelly, you come here, Zelly, and I want you to put out these fires. Ooh, Zelly got a tan from probably all that swimming. And Zelly, for putting out Ed's fires, we'll give you his grave. Oh, and she ate a candy bar. Um, so she has a sugar rush, probably. Oh, she's just having a blast. I don't know if she didn't dislike her candy bar that she ate. And Zelly was going to go take a bath, so we will teleport her back here and take a bath for her. Or have her take a bath. Or, yeah. Okay, glad she got her bath, because I felt kind of bad for taking her away from that. We'll go ahead and raise it up, like, part of the way, too, so. It goes faster. Um, these two are fighting. Jasmine and Nick, like, hate each other. I ha they haven't, like, gotten, like, a fist fight or anything, but they have, like, dropped so much. They're really close to me making them enemies. Let's see. Erica is sleeping with Jordan again. These two. These two. Jasmine and Nick are over here. Just disliking each other. He's accusing her of something. Probably being a diva. Oh, they're full now. They're full negative. Maybe they're not. I can't really tell. I feel like they might be. Jasmine and Zelly are getting along pretty good. Zelly's talking about books with her. Mommy Kenny is off to swim in the pool. I wonder if Mommy Kenny, Kenny can spontaneously combust. Mummy Kenny has survived so much longer than I thought he would have. Zelly's talking about fire. Yeah, fire's bad. That's right, Zelly. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah. We will just go ahead and call this a day then. And I will see you guys tomorrow on day four.